Well, President Biden signed a bipartisan measure overruling rail worker unions' objections to a proposed contract between them and the rail companies. This legislation requires rail workers accept a tentative agreement negotiated earlier this year. It calls for, among other things, a $16,000 immediate payout and wage benefits increase up to $160,000. But the major stickler remains. The Senate did not approve a bill giving rail workers paid sick days, meaning rail workers have none. It's left union leaders worried not only for worker morale, but for their safety. I can almost guarantee you that this time next year, you'll have fewer rail workers than you do right now. President Biden says he'll continue to fight to get paid sick leave for rail workers.